But that's gonna be... Yes, okay, only one more hit, one more hit. Welcome back to another Dance Bird video, you Danimals. It's just about time for week two of the seven star Blaziken Terror Raid, so that means it's time to dip deeper into the Dance Bird bag of tricks. Today, we're gonna take the newest mythical Pokemon Petrobunts for a test drive in its first seven star Terror Raid. Not only did Petrobun start the newest Dance Braids with its Mochi Mayhem, Mochi Madness, but it's going to be an incredibly useful Pokemon for us in Terror Raids. Shout out to the Danimo Black Red Pill for inspiring this build. Here's a high level look at our Petrobun build for soloing 7 star Blaziken. Up top you'll see that 7 star Blaziken, and next to it you'll see the Torchic that we defeated it with. That video was a ton of fun to put together. Underneath the Torchic you'll see the bridge itself, our Chelidon. In my opinion, the bridge is the best Pokemon against Blaziken in both solo and group raids. It really shines in group raids next to a Pokemon with the ability Drizzle or the move Rain Dance to set the rain weather condition. This lets it use Electro Shot without a turn to charge up. Next to the bridge is Ash's Pikachu that he lent to me to take down 7 star Blaziken in almost one hit. But let's focus on the newest Pokemon, Petrons. It is Terra type Electric type Blaziken for super effective Electric type Terra Blast. This build is all about bulk. It has max HP EVs, max defense EVs, and the final four in special attack. It has max IVs in all stats except for attack. It has a bold nature to lower its attack and further raising its defense, giving it a whopping defense of 460. I opted for the extra bulk for consistency. We can do plenty of damage thanks to Acid Spray and Nasty Plot. Petra Run's ability is pretty neat. It confuses any Pokemon that it inflicts with a poison status condition, but it's not useful for us in this raid. Terra Blast is how the Peach deals damage. Acid Spray softens up Blaziken for Terra Blast. Nasty Plop powers up Terra Blast. Parting Shot debuffs Blaziken's attack and special attack. This not only helps us against all of Blaziken's physical attacking moves, but it also helps us survive overheat. This makes this build a little less reliant on our AI allies. Petrobrunt uses the Shell Bell for some recovery. Time to see Sunban and the not-so-giant Peach in action. So to get some pretty consistent wins against Blaziken with Petrobrunt, we can follow a pretty set course of action. We're gonna use three Parting Shots, three acid sprays, and we're gonna mix in a nasty plot to turn after our stats uh, are debuffed, or our stat changes are cleared rather. Okay, so we'll do our parting shots. So the reason why we're going with parting shot instead of using defense curl or withdraw is because Blaziken clears our stat changes before it clears its own debuff. So we get more bang for our buck that way, and we also get to lower the special attack, which gives us a chance of surviving that dreaded overheat that has a one-fourth chance of just ending your run a lot of times with solos. Man, it's just it's just brutal because you have the Intimidators, like we have our Staraptor to lower that attack, and then here comes the special attack. It's brutal. Staraptor is uh, one of the best AI allies. It has the ability to Intimidate and also has Feather Dance. All right, so there's a Nullify on our side. So once that happens with Petrovan, we want to Nasty Plot one time. That will increase our damage output a bit while we're doing our three acid sprays to charge our Terra Orb. Then we will have our Electric Peach. It's not the best against seven star Blaziken. I would say Archeladon. Check out that video if you haven't already. Put the card right up there. It's a uh, bridge time. Love me some bridge. But you gotta, you gotta play with a new tool. You gotta use the new Pokemon. And especially this thing has some pretty awesome stats. The incredible base defense of 160, and of course the 88s in all of its other stats. Just like the level 88 that you catch it. And I don't know about you, but I've been absolutely loving like the lore of the DLC. I know a lot of folks say that it's, it's short, but it's fine. I'm holding out hope. Um, call me delusional. I still think we could see a second wave of DLC. I could see it. Um, I was hoping maybe the, even the Blueberry Academy would have been more focused around like a, another Battle Frontier-like facility, but. I mean, that's a topic for another day. I would just like to see like a modern battle frontier. But either way, I'm acid spraying. I'm gonna do three acid sprays, then I'm gonna terrestrialize and swing. And hopefully the dreaded overheat doesn't hit us this time. And we luck out because one quarter of the time with 129 left and we're slower than Blaziken, that's gonna get us close to getting knocked out and then we're just gonna get hit. So luckily we didn't terrestrialize, so maybe it doesn't end it, but Whatever, the critical hits and the overheat once you terrestrialize, it's just pain central. So there we have our third acid spray. So Blaziken is gonna be at minus six. We're gonna be at plus two. So we're gonna hit for some solid damage considering there's no special attacking EVs and we only have about roughly like a 212 special attack. 220 maybe with modest, or no, no, I'm not modest, we're bold, okay. So then we go, we're gonna terrestrialize. And while I'm terrestrializing Danimals, I wanna hear from you. 
what has been your favorite Pokemon to use against Seven Star Blaziken? I'm talking, what do you think has been the strongest? Your Archelodons, your Miradons, Belly Bolts, and anything a little more unorthodox. I've been loving this the skill swap stored power slow, bro, that I saw some folks cook up online. That build is really clever. That way you skill swap and get the speed boost to power up your stored power. The Petron. Petron's not bad too. That pet that's gonna be excellent healing. And so we're in the clear. And we're gonna break this shield hopefully the next time. It'll clear its own debuffs. Okay. That's okay. So now I'm gonna do when it clears its own. I'm gonna throw one acid spray. And then gonna continue on with Terror Blast. And we'll do another acid spray once we break the shield and then finish everything off. Right now we'll heal the four. But all is well. We, we're, we are a critical hit away. Blaziken can crit you. That's gonna be tough. Hopefully it doesn't, but if you're watching this, that means I didn't get critical hit it. To break this shield, Petra runs. And I don't know how I feel about Petra runs. Did you watch the additional lore drop? Because I think that it made it, the story a little more interesting because I was like, oh, this is just, all right, there's a shield break, good. Ask this break, putting a pin in the lore, putting a pin in the lore to focus on the raid, focus, focus, good. So there's an acid spray. So let's drop that special defense once more. And so now I'm gonna use Terra Blast again. Or you know what, it's doing such little damage at this point. Let me just max out that, let me just go right to the max out acid spray. So what we did is three parting shots. We did the nasty plots as soon as it cleared the debuffs. Then we did our three acid spray terastalize. It cleared its debuffs with acid spray. Terra blast until you break the shields. Then you can acid spray it back down to minus six. And we're still at plus two because it only clears our debuffs at one time. So now we can just keep swing freely. Critical hits will end the run. But again, why would we get crit? Just don't get crit. But that's gonna be... Yes, okay, only one more hit, one more hit, but I gotta speak fast. So I feel kind of bad for Petrum because I feel like it's not intentionally causing all this greed and all these bad things. But, I mean, it's the subjugation is bad. It did result in a guy dying because they killed Ogre Pond's man, but you know what? I'm not here to put Petrum on trial. All I know is, oh, there's a crit. <laughs> Petrum is an excellent, strong new Pokemon, and it's taking down its first Seven star Terra Raid. It's peach in time. It's almost peach in time. <laughs> Maybe we'll get the hit. Staraptor. Staraptor deserves it. It's the, the, like with all the intimidates. Okay, we do. We get it. All right. There you go. That is Petra Runs. It is one for one in seven star Terra Raids while it's alive. I expect it to be a mainstay going forward. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, or using Malignant Chain on that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Thanks for watching and happy Blaziken season.